Hey everybody, it's Highly Nakamas, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In this episode, we are finally going to enter the second dungeon of the game, Dry Dry Ruin. So, let's head inside, shall we? I'm the huge, scary, taunted Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands? Speak and be known. Be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. That was that noise? That sounds creepy. Um... I guess we can just find the source of, or source of the noise. Alright, so, um, so yeah, Dry Dry Ruins, um, it's, uh, I guess it's a little, a little straightforward, but first things first, we have a new enemy to encounter, well, actually a variant of, well, we've encountered these kinds of enemies before, but this is a new variant of them. And these are the, uh, Mummy Pokies. Poke Mummies? Uh, Poke Mummies, actually. So, basically, uh, like, they're basically, uh, Pokies that are dry and became, became mummies, and then, you know, just lived on as mummies. Now, I've already said before that, um, that they're also very annoying, like how, um, in, um, how their normal variants are, um, like they, uh, whenever one gets knocked out, then they call them for, uh, reinforcements. Um, I don't exactly know if they actually do, well, as far as I know, they haven't done so, so I don't, so they don't, they don't do that this time. But there is another thing that's annoying about them, is that, like, um, if you get hit, like, sometimes, uh, like, or, like, not all the time, but there's a guaranteed chance that, um, if you actually, uh, if they hit you, then you get poisoned. I think this also applies if, um, if you actually jump on them and take damage, take damage as a result. And yeah, this is where, uh, like, um, this, this is where you, uh, end up with these status conditions. See, right here. See, see Mario's poisoned right now. And what that, what that does is that, like, for every turn, then, uh, Mario, or Mario will, uh, take damage, or at least, uh, one amount of damage. Now, it doesn't actually last very long, like, after about, like, three or two turns, and, um, then he actually recovers from the poison. So, yeah, you can rest assured right now that it's not like Pokemon games, well, at least, uh, at least up until Gen 5, where they actually thankfully got rid of that, where, like, um, when your Pokemon gets poisoned, then it actually, uh, stays when you're over in the overworld. Not only that, though, but, like, every time, or every few steps you walk, then the screen just goes, like, da 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 yeah, just, that just goes to show about how, um, your Pokemon gets, uh, takes damage for every step you take. But again, though, uh, Gen 5, I uh, got rid of that, so I'm actually thankful for that. But, eh, I'm going a lot of topic here. But yeah, that's, uh, one thing I actually am thankful for about this game. Well, when it comes to, uh, status conditions, like, um, him being poisoned. But you do need to be careful with that, with that, too. Now, that badge I just picked up was the, uh, Spike Shield badge. And what that does, uh, well, if you saw the description there, is that, um, it actually protects Mario from... From getting hit from uh, whenever he's doing a jump attack on spiky enemies, like if he's uh, jumping on a pokey, then um, normally he would take damage. But, but with that badge on, then um, then he will take damage at all. So he'll just stay completely immune to um, to that kind of effect. So, anyways, uh, so this uh, so the ruins here. Well, you know, as with any other ruins in the desert, uh, they do have some puzzles. And that would entail, like, you know, going for the uh, Zelda tra tradition and just uh, finding keys and unlocking doors. Uh, not only that, though, but uh, there are also some parts where you just have to step on switches and drain out the, um, the sand. And that way, there, the uh, sand and the other one will fill up and they'll uh, gain you access. It'll give you access to areas that you couldn't reach without the sand. Fool! You have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands! Um, thank you? Uh, well, I'm still gonna keep going anyway, so you can't tell me what to do. No, sir. You can't tell me what to do. No. Anyway, so another new enemy here, Buzzy Beetles. You probably remember those guys. Uh, they, uh, work exactly like the, uh, Koopa Troopas. Where basically, like, um, they're, they're pretty defensive, but, um, uh, yeah, fire attacks won't work against them. And, you know, after flipping them, then their defense falls, and so you can actually be able to, uh, to damage them. So, in other words, they're, they're basically, like, the, exactly the same as, uh, the, um, the Koopa Troopas. Which, of course, you probably already know, because, you know, they also did appear in, um, in the original, uh, Super Mario Brothers for the NES. So, you know, as, as always, they're practically, like, the, um, same as Koopas, so, you know. And by the way, folks, um, actually, I, I want to get this out of the way right now. Um, I hate to tell you this, though, but I actually died in this dungeon when I was uh, trying to record. <laughs> no, no, no joke. I, I did. I actually did die. 
I mean, I, I, I didn't show it off because, like, I already uh, cut that part out and um, recorded new footage, but, yeah, because of that, then, um, what happens is that if you actually uh, do die in battle, and, um, like, you just get this game over screen, basically, it, it, the game takes you back to where you last save. So, yeah, there's no, there's really no checkpoint system in this game. Um, it just takes you all the way back to where you last save, and, um... And I guess it also has a kind of issue in other Mario RPGs, like in Super Mario RPG, or even, uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, and... I don't know this applies to the other, uh, RPGs as well. But, um... But yeah, the game actually does penalize you quite a bit, just, just by taking you back to where you last saved the game. So, if you actually went very far... And so, uh, you didn't see your progress? Well, you're gonna have to do this shit all over again. It sucks. Yeah, I know. And that's what I had to do. So, I had to redo the entire dungeon because, you know, the save block was actually at the entrance of the dungeon itself. And so, since I only last saved there, then I had to redo the whole thing all over again. Until where I got to the part where I actually died. So, I did a... So, I did a record in some other, uh, well... Well, I only had made, like, some sort of second part to, um, to actually record just exactly, uh, where, uh, the place where I died. And then I just got the rest from there and just record until the, uh, the next save block in this dungeon. Uh, Bombette, are you okay? You're, you were kind of spazzing out there. Uh, are you, you, you okay there? Um, I mean, I, I guess we can just forget all that happened. So just please don't do that again. You're, uh, kind of worrying me right there. Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, use this key right here. Yeah, it's like, um, I, I don't know why though, but it's like in secondary dungeons where, um, or secondary levels that that have this, uh, weird difficulty spike. Because, like, I kind of remember when I've, um, when I was playing this game once that there are times when this game could kind of, uh, spike in difficulty. And there's that one chapter that I know of that has a kind of issue, but, I mean, I think it's, like, I think it's chapter 6. As, as far as I know. Alright, so, yeah, this is where they actually have that very same thing, like, in Cooper uh, Brothers Fortress, where you, um, you, uh, step on a switch, and then, um, and then the, uh, room closes, and then some enemies come out. But in this case, we have to fight those goddamn Pokemon mates. I also do like how in, um, in, uh, New Super Mario Bros. DS, uh, you know, the very first of the, uh, actually new, in massive air quotes, uh, Super Mario Brothers. um, I do remember that there's the, uh, the boss of, uh, World 2, which is actually also a Pokemon Mummy, and, like, you know, it's, they, they take it, like, literally, where, it, you know, it's a mummified version of Pokey. I actually kind of remember that one, though. Which is kind of odd, though, because, like, um... Because, like, New Super Mario Bros. DS, like, it's pretty much the only one of those, uh, you know... The, the, the only one of those games in uh, the New Super Mario Bros. series where it actually had unique bosses, and... I actually give that game credit for that. For just uh, using that kind of detail. Although, I mean, I do remember there are some uh, kind of bosses... Or some kinds of bosses that are rather lazy. I mean, look at that one giant Goomba in uh, World 4. But, yeah, that's kind of, uh, different from... Oh, I actually, let me sell myself, or sell myself there. Um, a new enemy here, this is a, uh, Swooper. And Swoopers, uh, they actually start off by hanging from the ceiling, and so, therefore, you can't really, uh, attack them at all. So, the only way to ever, uh, knock them down from the ceiling is just by having Paracarry with you, because that, that way there, since he's also an airborne partner, then he can be able to reach up to the Swooper and knock him down. And after that's done, then you'll just, um, go from the ceiling, and then Mario can be able to attack him. And yes, I have really shitty luck trying to guard against attacks here. Like, like I always do. I mean, I've, I've said this before, and, you know, I kind of want to say it again. I have the worst luck when it comes to trying to guard against attacks, just by pressing the A button at the right time. Like, I have very shitty timing right there. I mean, sometimes it works, but most of the time, not really. See, look at that right there. I'm, I'm having so much bad luck in trying to... See, see that right there? I mean, I, I tried pressing the A button at just the right time, but I just... But I always miss my chance, and so therefore I just keep getting hit by those attacks. So yeah, all it takes is timing, but, you know, in my case, it's, you know, not so much. Now, uh, I probably shouldn't have wasted the, um, FP, although I kind of want to finish this one off, and, oh yeah, there you go, now, now you start appearing at, at the wrong time ever! 
Although, I guess, uh, that in this case, um, she actually, she's actually giving you star points, well, at least giving me some uh, extra star points, so I can actually, uh, you know, I, I don't really mind too much. But yeah, we, we, what I could have also done was, uh, actually, um, use the, uh, regular tag, like the, uh, I think it was a skydive? Yeah, it was a skydive, where, you, where a paracarry can actually, uh, kick the, uh, swooper down. Yeah, it's best to actually do just that instead of having to waste the um, the uh, FP for um, for those uh, special attacks like the like the uh, shell shot. Yeah, this is where I've actually decided to use the uh, skydive attack against that uh, swooper. And now my timing went off again. Okay, there we go. Now I managed to guard. And now I'm starting to do a little better. Um. I don't think that uh, using the star ball, well, maybe it does, but I don't know entirely. Um, using um, using uh, L Star's uh, star power, um, I think he would also uh, heal any uh, status conditions you might have, but I don't know at the same time. I mean, I know I actually use it at some point, although oh, okay, now, that, now that's where I actually use it. Uh, let's see, does he actually heal status conditions? Let's see, I, I, I can't remember exactly whether he does or not. Okay, yeah, he does, alright, I, I was right the first time. So yeah, that, that's something I also didn't, didn't get to mention, is that, um... Oh, oh yeah, and even though you do have the Spike Shield badge, uh, this doesn't really apply to your partners. Because only Mario can be able to uh, use that kind of um, effect, but... In your partner's case, uh, they can't really do that. So yeah, uh, I hate to break it to you right there. But yeah, Elsar can also uh, heal any uh, status conditions you may have, so it's not just like the um, HP or FP that he heals up for. So there's uh, that's some, something you like, you know, good to know. And with that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and pick this up right here. In fact, I actually remember my, uh, like the very first time I played this game, uh, I have actually died in this far once. Uh, wait, come on, don't go in that room! Oops, <clears throat> I mean... Flee now, now while, while you still, still can. can! If you, you continue, continue uh, you'll, you'll feel a horrible curse. curse! Okay, I gotta say right there, that's just... <laughs> I actually like that kind of char point right there, is that like, he, um... Like, he kind of uh, drops his uh, act and just kind of starts talking normally, but then he just realized that he was kind of out of character and then he just uh, used this uh, very menacing uh, kind of a uh, tone. But I actually kind of like that about this, it's... It, it just really kind of shows a bit of a personality about um about the uh, kind of a certain boss that we had to face. Uh, spoiler right there. But anywho, so then um yeah I never got to mention this all, but yeah this is uh, this will be the very first video that I uploaded for the new year in uh, 2021 and ah uh, Jesus what the hell what the hell of a year this has been. Yeah, I mean, what can I say about, uh, that one year that I should not mention? Ah, you know what? Ah, fuck that year. It sucked. It's the worst. We had to, like, endure so much of the shit that we had to go through, like, you know, our, uh, normal everyday lives being shattered because of COVID. Ugh, yeah, that was just, uh, that, that, that year was such a train wreck, you know? It was. I mean, so many of the, so many of the bad shit that happens, and, ugh. We had to go through quite a lot there. <laughs> it was, so, um... <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, fuck that here. I can, I can go rot right now. But, um, I will say this, though, is that, like, um... You know, for all the shit that we had to go through th for that year, then, um... You know, we can actually try to make this year a little better, so... All we gotta do is just, you know, we all just work together and just, um... Just do the very best we can and just, you know, try to make this year... A hopefully made this year a lot better than how how it would be last year so yeah so i mean we, we may have a new year right now going and uh we're we finally reached the end of that year like thank god but you know we're still not out of the woods yet so you know just do what you always do if, um, like you know just stay safe and make sure you wash your hands every now and then or well as often as possible and of course again if you ever do decide to uh, go, some, go somewhere then make sure you're wearing a mask so yeah anyway um yeah, that, that aside, though, um, that badge I just picked up was the uh, Slogo badge, and uh, wearing that, then it kind of um, de decreases uh, Mario's walk speed, so he kind of goes a little slow. 
So I would say it's kind of useless a bit, although it actually could be used for kind of some kind of fun. Like uh, if you're about to reach some sort of big uh, epic moment and you just want to, and then you just want to go like very slowly and just uh, face the uh, upcoming challenges you get, you would do, then you know, just put that one on and you just go very slow, just uh, just for epic effects, effects right there. Yeah, you know, I'm that much of a nerd. So anyways, um, oh, and here's another power block, right, or, I mean, up upgrading block, uh, well, I might, might as well say, like, upgrading block, because uh, if I were to say power block, then something like might confuse it with the, you know, the power block that was, um, that was introduced in, uh, Super Mario 2 USA. And so, uh, for that, I have decided to upgrade, uh, Cooper to the Super Rank. And with that, he has a new ability, which is the, uh, Dizzy Shell? Yeah, the Dizzy Shell. And, uh, what that does, if successful, it actually costs 4 FP, but, um... But what it'll do is that he'll, uh, daze and confuse the, uh, enemies in the, uh, in battle. Alright, so we enter this room, and, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right, I never actually mentioned this. Uh, we have the, uh, Super Hammer, and with that, that will allow us to, um... It's like an upgraded version of the uh, regular hammer, and so with that we can be able to um, smash um, the uh, stone blocks that we've been seeing that we weren't able to smash with a regular hammer, but now with the super hammer, then we can be able to um, smash the uh, stone blocks there. And so we have a mid-boss here, Stone Chomps. Well, two of them, actually. Um, so, um... So I guess it's uh, not quite that hard of a boss, except uh, in my case where I, once again, am still having very shitty luck just trying to guard against the attacks. So what I would do, what I did for some kind of strategy is that like I would actually, um, I actually use the uh, regular, or just use the hammer, and then I actually just uh, finish them off with, um, with uh, Bombette's moves. Now, uh, surprisingly enough, um, Actually, I didn't necessarily use the, uh, Power Bomb. Since, uh, like, after, um, using Mario's attacks, then, um... Then, um... Then it actually, uh, drops them down to just, uh, 1 HP left, and then I can just finish it off with, um... With, uh, Bombette's, uh, Body Slam, although I actually... My past self actually used the, uh, the Power Bomb this time, so I used the Bombette's Body Slam, because even though it may not look like much, um, the Body Slam actually does work against the Stone Chomps. And yet I still just uh, wasted the power bomb right there. So yeah, way to go, past me, dumbass. And yeah, I was actually really struggling a bit right there, as you just saw. And yeah, it was because of that where I was kind of reckless and went into the other that other room, and um, and so I actually um, and so that's that's the room right there. Yeah, the next room we're about to go to. Uh, up ahead is uh, that it, it's actually the room that I, that I died in. In one of my recording sessions, so yeah, there you go. Oh, that coin disappeared before I pick it up. It was the last coin too. I'm so sad. But now we have picked up the diamond stone, and yeah, that, that's where I uh, record some uh, new footage because that was like after um, that was like after the uh, part right died. And yep, that is the place where I died, and against those buzzy beetles too. Yep, there you go. There's uh, one of my uh, probably one of my most famous fuck ups that I ever do, although it's actually off screen because I. Actually, cut that off. But yeah, I died against a Buzzy Beetle. Well, at least in a Mario RPG, because like if I was playing, um, if I was playing the other games like the uh, Super Mario Brothers games, then that probably would have been a different story. Oh yeah, here's a map right there. Although, um, well, actually, I guess it's kind of easy to tell what, what which place you're in. But yeah, there there it is right there, the map. Although, um, not a lot of people actually yeah, take a look at it to see exactly where they are. And so, uh, with that, we, uh, make a staircase right there, and that'll, that'll take us to another key. Alrighty, um... Yeah, I don't know what else is there right now, um... Uh, actually, I do want to say this, though. Uh, this is uh, one of those uh, mistakes I made, because um, when I was uh, trying to... Yeah, see right there. Um, the first time you enter this room, then you'll get more uh, dialogue quotes from the um, from Tatakupa. 
but um, when I was uh, trying to get back to where I left off after I died, and I accidentally stumbled to this room because I didn't really know which way I was going, and I went and triggered the uh, the dialogue, and that was all off screen. I I really didn't mean to do that. I'm I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Which worse, you guys that uh, you guys that really didn't didn't get to see that it was it was a total accident. I mean, I I stumbled into it, and I just didn't realize he was gonna start uh, speaking to me, and well, he did, and I didn't get to show that off. So yeah, my apologies for that. Uh, what I'll say, though, is that, um, he actually uh, says stuff like that, Turn back now, or else you'll regret it. Yeah, so, uh, something along those lines there, so... So, yeah. Anyway, so you see those, uh, stone statues of the chain shots with those, uh, symbols? That's actually the, um, kind of, um... That's actually the kind of, uh, set that you want to go for, like, the, um... Those, uh, stones that you pick up, like the diamond stone that I did. Um, that actually, uh, shows you, like, exactly, uh, where you need to, uh, find the, what kind of stones there are, or where you need to place them at. So you want to make sure that you uh, memorize those, or you can just uh, jot those down if you want to. And I don't really know if this ever does happen in the game, but I do know... Well, I'm, I'm kind of assuming this right now, because, um... Because it has, like, it has happened a lot, and, um... It's pretty common in the uh, N64 games, like in uh, Banjo-Kazooie, or most especially Banjo-Tooie, is that, um... Like, uh... Like, the, uh, order for the, uh, stones would, um, would actually, uh, randomize, uh, it, well, each time you play the file. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though, but, like, I, I, I mean, I haven't really played much of the game to actually know about it or even remember it much, but I would have to assume that it does randomize, uh, for each time you play the game. So, if it does, then, yeah, make sure you write those down or just, uh, memorize those, but if not, then I guess you're, I guess you're good to go. And yeah, a little heads up right there, um, if you, um, before you ever try to reach those, uh, stones that you need to, uh, set, to set them in the, uh, chain shop statues, um, you are actually gonna do, have to, uh, battle against the, um, those stone chomps, so, yeah, be warned right there. Alright, and so we have the Lunar Stone, um, I'm actually, uh, kind of surprised they, uh, named the Lunar Stone instead of the Moonstone, because, well, that... Probably would have uh, taken the name of the uh, other Moonstone from uh, from Pokemon. Huh, if I actually uh, used that one, would I um, would I be able to evolve some Pokemon like uh, like Clefairy or Jigglypuff? But anyways, um, so the last stone, uh, I actually kind of did get a little lost, although it didn't really last long because um, because I actually just not realized that um. Yeah, there is a way up there. This is actually the same room where we fought those, uh, three Pokies, or the, or Poke Mummies. And so, by stepping on the Switch, uh, we see that Stone Block right there, and with the Super Hammer, we can, uh, well... Oh, that's right, no, um... Okay, well, that'll lead us to this, uh, artifact right there, which, uh... I don't think really does anything, honestly. I think it's, um... I think it's just there for no reason. I mean, maybe it's maybe something useful for uh, for some later on. I don't remember exactly. Maybe some sort of side quest, but I don't know. I I, I can't remember exactly. So we'll have to find out about that. But for now, I'm not quite sure what the um what that uh, artifact is supposed to be for. Anyway, so yeah, last stone that we see, and we're gonna have to uh, f or face off against those uh, stone chops. Oh, uh, going by some more uh, Nintendo Lodge right there. So you see that in the um, in the um, in those uh, carvings or the uh, those um, with the hieroglyphics right there. Um, like the only one of those uh, stone chomps actually came out of there. But there's like, but there's only two of them they had to face. So it's not like the other stone chomp came out of there. It's, this is like right there, as you can see. But yeah, we had to fight two of them. Nintendo logic, folks. Nintendo logic. But now we have leveled up to uh, level 7, I think. And with that, then, uh, that's why I decided to upgrade the uh, badge points. So, let's, uh, we're all uh, go ahead and equip some more badges. Um, I think it's the multi-bounce that I've, um, that I've equipped. I think, but I'll have to uh, see the video, see if I, uh, see my past self actually did. Um, no, I guess I probably could have uh, re equipped the uh, close call badge. Okay, yeah, I think, yeah, that's where I've uh, decided to um, equip the uh, multi bounce. And I was also thinking of, uh, well, 
I guess my past self decided not to equip any more. Well, actually, no, never mind. I I, I did, though. I actually uh, went to equip the uh, Quake Hammer. And I didn't really read the description right there, but what that does is that uh, by uh, using the Quake Hammer, then um, all the uh, enemies on the ground will actually uh, take damage. But I don't know if that's the case for the uh, airborne enemies. But with that, we have now uh, found the, um, the, um, Diamond Star? Or, I mean, the, uh, Star Stone, whatever it was, or Diamond Stone? No, no, that was the other one. Pyramid Stone, that, that's right, I was, I was thinking of the one in the middle. I, I, I forgot what the shape of it was, but that's the Pyramid Stone. What the hell is Mario doing? Um, okay, uh, you know, it kind of looks like you're trying to do one of those, um, one of, the, one of those uh, Crash Bandicoot poses when you're trying to run. Seriously, that that, that, that just looks that, that looks so ridiculous. I just see that just now. He looks so ridiculous when trying to run like that when, he, when he's panicking. Just wow. You're trying a little too hard to be Crash Bandicoot there, Mario. Even though he's actually from another company and not your company. This, this is, is your, your final, final warning. warning. Enough, Enough of this, this foolishness. foolishness. Leave at once. Uh, how about fuck you? Although, we're actually going to do that in the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. Yep, I decided to save right here because, you know, there's a save block. And so, you know, if I see a save block, I end off the video. Simple as that. So, anyway, so next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we are going to face off, well, Dungeon Koopa, obviously. Because, well, he keeps talking to us. And so, we are all, we're always sure that we're going to fight against him. And hopefully, that's where we'll save the second Star Spirit. So, until next time, see you guys later.